Godspeed. Ahoy, all of you flick freaks out there. What is going on? My name is Andrew, and we are here with another trailer reaction. I can't believe I fucking missed it. So I left this morning to go record Sif Pop. As soon as I arrive at Sif Pop, Aaron tells me, hey, did you hear that the Star Wars The Last Jedi uh, teaser trailer came out? And I was so pissed because apparently it had been out before I had left this morning. So I had to wait until Sif Pop was totally done, drive all the way back here so I can record my reaction to Star Wars The Last Jedi official teaser. Movies directed by Ryan Johnson, who gave us the movie Looper, which is fucking great. So, given that kind of directing style, I have to feel that this is going to be more of an Empire Strikes Back kind of a movie. It's going to be darker and grittier, and maybe the good guys aren't going to win in this one. But, I'm super stoked, because returning, we have Mark Hamill, Ryan Johnson, or Mark Hamill, Adam Driver, Daisy Ridley... Carrie Fisher, I guess she's still listed on IMDb, so I guess she might have some parts left in this. You'll also have Gwendolyn Christie, Oscar Isaac, the whole cast. Super stoked to have everybody back. So, and of course, Boyega as well. Um, I, you know what, fuck it. Let's just jump right into this two-minute and 12-second teaser trailer, and then we'll give our thoughts afterwards. I'm about to have my mind blown. I can barely sit down in my seat. We're even going to raise these up because I don't want anything right here. Here we go. Oh, sh Okay. <laughs> Shit, Daisy. Breathe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is happening. I think he's talking to me right now. Reach out. What do you see? Light. Darkness. Kylo's fucked up his mask. Okay. It's so much bigger. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. I only know one truth. Yes. What you talking about? Look at it, it's red. It's all red. You know shit's not gonna go well in this movie if it's red. <laughs> oh my fuck. Oh whoa. Okay. That just happened. Whoa, seeing, I don't, it's probably not the exact same scene, but whenever you see Daisy Ridley rushing with her lightsaber and then you see Kylo Ren just sitting there, oh man, I love that so much. BB-8's back, Oscar Isaac's back. Boyega, he's in the, um, I guess it's like a healing uh, pod or something, kind of like maybe what they're, maybe he's being sent to the, like, the healing pod kind of thing that Luke was in whenever he was on Hoth and he got, you know, uh... And there's just so much to digest in that one trailer. So, she's going to be training with Luke. Luke's... Looks like he's fucking had it. He's like, it's time for the Jedi to end. He's done. This is insane. Kylo Ren, I guess he's going to come back with a full force. And he's just going to wreck house. Um, I, I, there's, there's just so much I need answered in this. And the fact that... 
I can't even wrap my mind around what I just saw and I can't articulate what I'm thinking right now. Hopefully that's some indication of how excited I am for this movie because you guys know Star Wars is one of my favorite movies of all time. The entire franchise, just wrap it all up and it's beloved to me as it is with, I think, 99% of the world. <laughs> so I'm not special in that regard. But, man, I loved Force Awakens. I know recently it's been getting a lot of backlash, a lot of member berry shit, but I don't give a shit. I had so much fun with The Force Awakens. And then Rogue One was great. I want this to be one of the best Star Wars movies of all time. For me, Empire Strikes Back is the best because it was the first movie whenever I was younger that I remember seeing where the good guys didn't win in the end. And that really fucked with me whenever I was younger because it didn't make sense. I didn't realize that that was an option. I thought the good guys always had to win. This has the potential to be the next Empire Strikes Back to where the good guys don't win. Because with just the tone that it was setting there and the fact that it is the second installment, and usually in Star Wars, the second installment, the good guys don't win, and the fact that Star Wars was in red and it wasn't in yellow kind of gave me goosebumps, and I'm wondering what the hell is going to happen here. So maybe this is going to be Kylo Ren just fucking everybody's shit up, which I am all for, because... Some people don't like Kylo Ren as a character. I think he's an amazing villain. I love him so much. Can't wait to see what he does. Whew. I'm going to watch that again. Not a reaction, but I'm going to be watching that all day pretty much. So, Thank you so much for watching that with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had as much fun with that as I did. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button down there. Check up in the top right corner for the store. Support us on Patreon, and we'll catch you in the next video. Until next time... Godspeed to 100,000 subscribers. Where's Dylan? Oh, he seems to be crawling away from the goal. What is he doing? He's throwing away the best! <laughs> <laughs>